Staying with football-related news, TS Galaxy have confirmed that their women's team will campaign in the Hollywood Bets Super League next season. The move, which was secured through the purchase of a status, will make it three out of the 16 Premier Soccer League sides to have women's teams. That includes Mamelodi Sundowns and Royal AM. Galaxy ladies have been campaigning in the Sato League in the last two seasons. To share a little bit more light on this development, we're joined by club chairman Tim Sukazi. A very good afternoon. Welcome to Newsroom Africa. Thank you, Waylon. Happy New Year to you and uh, Happy New Year to your listeners. Uh, happy New Year to you and what a new year it's going to be mm -hmm. with uh, your team competing in uh, the top flight of uh, women's football here in the country. You did, however, buy a status. Uh, what was the motivation? Yeah, look, um, we have been clear at our club that uh, we would want to see ourselves contributing meaningfully to the advancement of the women agenda in football. You know, uh, we know as much how marginalized women have been over the years to this day when it comes to the game of football. Um, we as TS Galaxy we believe that they deserve their place in, you know, in the dinner table. Um, we will do as much to create as many opportunities. So uh, having a Hollywood bet, Premier Division side, you know, is one of those uh, initiatives by the club to ensure that we don't only pay lift service you know when we talk about the advancement of uh, football amongst our women we have to do it why not just continue campaigning in the Cecil League and earn your way up to the Premier Division um, you've got no guarantee we've done it twice you know we went to the playoffs we didn't succeed but then for you want the uh, Hollywood Best Super League, you know, to have some credence. In other words, you would want to see as many Premier Division clubs in the Hollywood Best uh, Super League, because you know the more the Premier or DSTV Premiership clubs we have, it is the more the standard of the game will improve, because DSTV Premiership teams, by their very nature, and compared to many other clubs that play in that league, you know, will come probably with the resources better organizational setup and they following you know that's what you want to see we have watched too many games uh, of that league uh, and you you know that you know there's not been much support because people don't relate with many of those clubs so if we want to bring the level of the league itself you know to the next level or the next standard I think you need an infiltration of primitive gene teams I imagine because it's women's football and because of the developments of women's football that yes. uh, buying a status in top flight women's football in South Africa is not quite like buying status uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to men's football but yeah. you still have to pay something why not just pay your players better in the Cecil division and get them to play their way up no uh, it's not about payment it's about goals you set yourself as a club you know we had given ourselves a three-year plan um, and this is our third season and we're clear to say if we can't gain promotion in the first two seasons or in one of the two first seasons then we'll have to acquire a status you know and you may not know many of these clubs there in that league you know are strained financially many want out so instead of the league itself suffering by one member opting out rather take over you know as a primitive in club I think it will help to sustain the league and like I said earlier to bring credence to the division how much were you motivated by what the CAF president Patrice Mosepe had to say about uh, those uh, teams that want to complete, compete in inter-club competitions on the continent, the men's side, they need to have a women's team affiliated to them? Well, we came in at TS Galaxy and formed a women's side, you know, prior to Patrice becoming the president. <laughs> you know, top clubs in the world have been on this route for the past 25, 30 years. So we always, were always left to wonder that as South Africans, why aren't we going this, you know, with the direction of the entire world? Why are we resisting or at least creating a perception that we are not in favor of it, you know? So we said we'll do it in the next three years. So that was prior to him. But then when he said it, we were quite encouraged, of course, to, and we were expecting to see many more of our counterparts doing it, you know? Uh, but then I'm surprised there hasn't been such and uh, those that have done it maybe in recent times they were also forced to comply as a, as a measure of compliance because they couldn't play in the CAF but then we're doing it with clear conviction as TS Galaxy. 
how confident are you that you'll be able to uh, unseat the likes of the Sundowns ladies? That's the whole purpose. So when the TS Galaxy arrives, uh, already you are one of the two teams in the DSTV Premiership to have beaten Sundowns when everyone thought they were unbeatable. So again, we've arrived. You know, we're going to throw a challenge at them. The, uh, what I can say without any fear of contradiction is that they're not going to walk the league in the same manner that they've been doing in the past few years. In any event, you want South Africa to have at least two participants in the CAF Championship and hopefully, you know, we'll do wonders and take the standard to, to World Championship. This past week, we've just been hearing from so many of the DSTV Premiership coaches that, in fact, you might as well give the league to Mamelodi Sundowns <laughs> because nobody can compete with them. They've got too much money, uh, and nobody can compete with that at all. It's something that you also see in the women's league. What's your take on that? Uh, look, um, in life, you do not have to uh, advance excuses, you know, in an instance where you could do better. You should always strive to do better. Yes, Sundowns might have all kinds of resources. I'm saying I'm sitting here before you now to say we have beaten them, the TS Galaxy, at home, it, you know, it loved us. So if all of our counterparts or colleagues in the league could have the same mindset, probably, you know, they could have earned more points playing against Sundowns. But because of this mindset, you know, they face Sundowns fearful and they end up losing matches that they shouldn't lose from my mere observation. Yes, they train well. Uh, yes, they've got the players, but still, it's 11 v 11 in the field of play. We went to Loftus, we beat them in the first game of the league, and they're coming to us next week on the 24th, certainly we'll beat them. We'll collect, we'll be the first team to collect six points against the so-called unbeatable Sundowns. How is that? Sure, and there'll be no excuses about money. Thank you very much. Uh, Sam Sakazi is the chairman of uh, TS Galaxy. Uh, they've just announced that uh, they will be...